We're building something we think is going to be transformative. Technology capable of streaming direct thought for people who through injury or disease have lost the capacity to move or speak. Brain-computer interfaces are a technology that record from a particular area of the brain called the motor cortex. It's a progressive disease that will eventually cause me to lose my voice and um, the use of my limbs. But uh, I've embarked on a trial using a stem trade device. The promise and the hope of this technology is to regain independence for people who have lost their physical independence. What we're doing differently is using the blood vessels as the natural highway into the brain and lacing the inside of the blood vessels with electrodes or sensors that can record activity from the brain. Those signals travel through a lead that exits out the body through telemetry unit that goes into a computer and those signals can be interpreted by the computer into different types of actions or commands. When the system's connected, we'll be able to see the neural signal flowing through and we'll spend some time studying those signals while the participant performs specific movements or the participant thinks about performing those movements. We can translate these signals into uh, switches or, or clicks. If a patient really wants to use the computer, for example, we can offer them a, a mouse click and they can start using the mouse as, as they would uh, have before they were paralysed. That platform then is like a Bluetooth out of your brain to control a computer or a device where there is no need for a keyboard or a mouse. This is a truly hands-free, brain-controlled platform. So Graham can right now surf the web, write up Word documents, check his emails, do basically everything that a person normally can on a computer using nothing but his brain and his eyes. Even now, I find it a bit mind-boggling that he can do that. I sort of got the concept of what they're doing, but how it's working, I still find it a little bit awe-inspiring, actually. The best way this goes is that someone who's had a severe injury, who has had the best part of their life ripped away from them in terms of independence, gets control back in a way that lets them be their best person. We've done the first step and it's really exciting to think about where it's gonna go next.